Okay, I'm going to get started on bevel gears. I'm not happy with the plastic gears that I have in, uh, in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is make some setup blocks so I can set up the right angles that I need. So I've got just a couple pieces of plastic here. I'm just going to go ahead and hmm, put them in there. On it. We'll see if that works. That up. And the first thing I'm going to do is mill two sides parallel on this, these pieces of plastic. feathers away. <laughs> all right, flip it over, make sure they're down. Razor up about a hundred. <laughs> Okay, so now the plan is I've done this I've done this a couple times for angles if I want to angle real close. So we take our we'll just take one of these pieces of plastic and this will be for the face angle of the gear. And the face angle of the gear is supposed to be um 61 deg 61.6 degrees so I need to get my since I got my phone in taking video I'll need to get my angle finder out here my acute angle and I want 61 61.6 degrees hopefully the battery's all right we'll zero this out it is zero all right, put this in here, and we'll just snug it up just a little so that I can move it around here. And I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you'll be able to see the numbers on it or not. We'll see. All right. So we'll set that on there. And we'll move it around until we get 61.6. Did I six sixty one? Um or do I want the complementary of that? Let me see here. So for that no, I want 61. 61.6. Right. Move this over here. 
and keep moving it until we get to 61. Oop, went by it. 61 and a half. Oofta. I guess I didn't realize how much I'd like to get that down in the vise a little bit further. Yeah, like that. All right, let's see what we're at. 57, 58, 60, 61. Oop, I had it closer. Sixty-one, come on, sixty-one point six, if you can see that or not. So, now I'll just mill an angle across that. That'll be my angle that I'll use for indexing on the, on the lathe. So... We'll have to take it cool because it's going to be <laughs> pretty flimsy up there. I'm going to bust it in half right away. But we'll move this up and just take it a little at a time. be a long enough uh, area for me to, to dial in on. I'll show you what I'm going to do here now. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Let's just double check it. Yeah, double check it here to make sure I did that right. So, zero it. Now put it up here. Yep, that's right. 61.6. All right, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to use that block for. Over here on the lathe. And what I'll do is I'll turn my compound around and I will put it on there like that. you're seeing that or not and then I'll dial that in it's pretty close right <laughs> right now the way it looks which which with the complimentary would be 29 and a half which is <laughs> so so anyway I'm gonna use that one that one there then I need another one over here to set my indexing head up which would be the root angle of the bevel gear and the root angle is uh, 39.8 degrees. So we'll put the 
the other one in there. 39.8. Move that over. Alright, we're at zero here. I want to tip her up. Lay in the shot. Yep. Looking to see if the camera was in the right spot. 39.8. Drop it down into the middle of the ice. So not so much sticking up. Thirty-nine point eight. Thirty-nine point eight. Oh, now it dropped to five. Oop. Sometimes it takes a little thinking around, but eventually you'll get it. If you stay uh, right there, 39.8. So now we'll do the same thing here, whittle our way down. And. Because it's pretty, it's pretty flimsy up here at the top. You don't want to just snap it off right away. You'll notice how it was snapping, and that was because I was, I had it too far, the table too far, and it was conventional cutting. You, when you got stuff like this that's flimsy like that, you want to climb cut. That way it kind of pushes it over and holds it over. Take it 300 at a time.
Ti gonfi! Now, when we come to set this up, I get my burr knife here. Okay, when we come to set this up now, I'll just take and put this edge up against my spindex, dial that in either on X or Y, whichever way I want to work with my gear, cutting my gear, and I'll have the angle set perfect or damn close. So, what do we want to do now? Well, we want to go over the lathe first, get the blank made. So let's go over there. I'm going to take you off the tripod and put you on. Uh, I'm going to clamp you up on that. Uh, um, although that didn't work very well. It turned the picture. It turned. Uh, I turned the camera the wrong way and it went back to a uh, different setting. So I didn't have full screen. I'll put you on the tail stock again. That seemed to work pretty good. Set you up in here. I'll set you up here. We're not drilling any holes. Well, we we are. We are drilling holes. Have to drill the the center hole, the two two fifty seven or one fifty seven hole in it. See, I got the old infamous thumbs down on the <laughs> on one of the videos. That's okay. You know what that means to me? Not a damn thing. <laughs> Not if they don't. If they're disappointed with the video, why didn't you leave a, a comment, right? <laughs> you don't leave a comment telling me what I did wrong, well, I guess it doesn't mean anything then. Oh, I'm going to have to zoom out, show you me dialing this in here. I'll set it on the back side here so I can turn you a little bit, show you. So, I'll have to, uh, I wonder if I can hold that with a magnet up there. I think I can if I double back tape a magnet on here. Oh, let's see. Let me see, I gotta find a magnet. I've got quite the, the magnet selection to pick from here. I wonder if this one would be strong enough. That's not very strong. These uh, neomidium magnets are very <laughs> strong. I put a couple of those on there. Yeah, they'll they'll pull. I think they'll I think they'll hold it in place. I'll get some double back tape. Carpet tape. And just stick the magnets on it. Let's 
and we'll see if it works. Otherwise, I need three hands to try to to hold the the piece up there and dial it in at the same time. Just gotta make sure the magnet's up against the edge. Would help if I'd have cleaned this off a little bit. Big dummy. Yeah, when you get a thumbs down and there's no comments that hey, you did this wrong or you did that wrong, well, what does it mean? <laughs> to me, it doesn't mean anything. It means somebody's jealous out there. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. They're jealous. Where'd the magnet go? <laughs> yeah, see, I told you I, I should have cleaned this a little bit. But if I just put a... I could have just put the tape on that, I suppose. Well, the one's holding. Well, that's not, that's a bust. <laughs> not going to work. I suppose it would if I had a block magnet. Uh, I wonder if one of my, uh, um, Magnets from a uh, hard drive would, would work. They're a lot bigger and they're a e mini magnet too. Let's see if I can find one of those. I've got so many of them and then when I come to want to use one I can find never find one. Why is that? They're, they're pretty strong. Maybe I can anchor it right through the... Uh, hmm. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to try to hold that there. And The trouble is you move it around and then you don't get a really good reading. Dad, burn it. <laughs> Time to get some alcohol and put some tape on this one. Some alcohol on a Kleenex and wipe that down so the tape will stick. It's kind of got kind of dust on it. This is uh, I don't know what kind of plastic this is. It was an an old uh, sign uh, off of, out of one of the stores that they <laughs> they tossed it. And my father-in-law grabbed it because he figured I'd be able to use it. Well, I'm using it. <laughs> it's it's uh, I don't know three sixteenths thick. And it's a real hard plastic. Now I'll put some tape on this. My father-in-law, he'd, he'd drive around to the stores out back. If there was something laying that he thought that I could use and they were thrown away, <laughs> he'd pick it up. So he picked up a lot of stuff that... People were throwing away. All right, let's put that on here. Now, now maybe I'll have a. It would have helped if I would have put it on the right side. <laughs> How's your day going? Really well. Where's that thumbs down? <laughs> I think I need another one. 
Oh well. I say if you if you don't like my videos, then don't watch them. It's just a video log for myself, really. If that's what it's how it started out, so that I could look back at when I did certain things, and so that's why I started doing it, and it just propelled to me making a lot of videos. <laughs> I don't know, I could take and, uh, well, it, making these gears is going to probably turn out to be two or three videos because there's a lot of operations on making a bevel gear. Um, I'm making a fairly easy one, 18 tooth, 18, there's 18 teeth on it, 48, uh, Is what the tooth pitch is going to be so like that so on in this corner all right <laughs> he pulls that front end down why is that Yeah, that tape runs is not sticking. Ah. Well, you know what? I could just take and clamp it up on the top here too. Take this off and clamp it down. Maybe that's what I ought to do. Maybe that's what I ought to do. Well, even if I just loosen this, well, I have to have some way of uh, putting it against the side. Let's see. Let's see what I can rig up. Hmm. Who tightened that? If I get a short bolt and then put it up against this side, clamp it down. Looks like that needed to be cleaned out underneath anyway. I don't think there was anything under it, but you know, stuff all around it. I think that's a 5 16 bowl. This one here might work. So, put that up here. I need some way. <laughs>
There we go. Now all you need to do is put a parallel or something up against the side here. Take a parallel, put it against the side. Push it up against that parallel. Oop. It doesn't have to be all that tight. It just has to hold it so I can indicate on it. That's good. There we go. <laughs> Long way about, but we got there. I think. I think we got there anyway. I'm looking for my cap for my alcohol. Before I tip it over. It's, it's denatured alcohol is what it is. Um, I buy it by the quart and then I put it in this in this old rubbing alcohol jar jug. That's what I use on my that's what I use on my Stirling engines. Alright, so now we've got to put an indicator to, in there. It's over on the NC, so take this material out. This is material that I'm going to be using for the for the gear. Stick that in there. Let's just see how far we're off here. Did you know, did you know that if you're counting on your indicator being accurate as far as thousandths or whatever, the needle has to be at a two to five degree angle. Uh, anything more, or if you go more, then your one thou is actually... Actually, one thou would be less than. Uh, so, I guess that would be a way of making your indicator more accurate. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so set it at zero here. We are in that distance, we're 18,000 off. So, I'm going to open these. Find my wrench. Who keeps, who, keeps, who keeps moving my stuff around? <laughs> I swear there's little gremlins out here that, that move my stuff around. All right. Loosen that up. Loosen this up. And so it's high over there. Tap it back. Zero. Well, now we're within uh, about four thou. Zero. Now we're <laughs> eight thou. Ah, I was closer. I, I should have clamped her down. Right there, two thou. We're within two thousandths of where we are supposed to be. Tighten that down. Tighten this down. Don't have to be sh oh, real tight, just tight. Okay, so now we can take the indicator out of there. Put it away where it belongs.
so the gremlins can't get their hands on it. They should mark this too. Also scratch in what degree it is. Although it's easy to check. <laughs> Just set it down, put the accurate angle on it. Lay that over there for now. And before I put this on, I want to tip her over and wipe it down. I made this um, right away when I got the lay. I did not like the tool post uh, quick change that they had on there. I gave away the holders or the the tool holders, and I I kept the the main the main part because he already had one. And uh, I'll tell you, if somebody wanted to pay shipping on it and, and wanted it, <laughs> all they need to do is let me know. I, I'm more than happy to send it to them because I do not like it. It's, uh, I just dig it out here and show you. <sighs> Let's see if I can find it real quick. Not exactly sure what I've done with it. I wouldn't have thrown it away. <laughs> yeah, I have it somewhere. I just don't know where. I put it in this unless I put it in this toolbox extra gears. Let's look in there. Nope. Let's look where I let's look where I keep my three jaw. Nope. Well, when I find it I'll I'll show it on the video and then uh if somebody decides they want it, they can kind of let me know. And it's the standard holder that comes. It's the standard holder that comes with a uh, uh, model G four thousand three Grizzly lathe. <laughs> In case you you could probably look it up real quick, and uh, if you're willing to pay the freight for it, <laughs> you can let me know. Uh, I don't I, I don't throw things like that away. Uh, somebody will find use for it. All right, well, put that in there. And now I'll probably drill that hole first. I'll take this out. I had a job me in an electric motor that I had to work on yesterday. So had some extra cash flow into the shop. <laughs> Which is nice. I want to drill a one oh or 157 diameter hole. Oop. Get kind of close. Swing you down here so you can kind of see. Haven't had the lathe running. So let's kick her into low gear here. Let her circulate some oil. <clears throat> All right, and we'll 
kick it up to a thousand. I'm going in center drill. This would be it. I wonder if I shouldn't double drill that to try to keep that hole nice and straight. I think I will. I think I'm gonna drill it with a smaller drill first, like an eighth inch hole drill. I'll go in there with an eighth inch drill first. Sometimes that helps to when you're trying to keep it straight I'll back you up a little bit so you're not so close come on it worked so good the other day here it wants to jiggle around all right And here we go. Okay. And we'll go with the one fifty seven. some turning. Turn that face. So I want to get, I don't know if this one will be good enough or not. Tighten that down. Um, Where did my own wrench go? Just as a new one, I loosened it. Hmm. Anybody see it? <laughs> hmm. Ooh. I might have to stop or get over out of the wind. That wind is setting off some. You gotta go backwards. <laughs> I 
need to turn that a little bit. It's not. You know what? I'm sure you're not seeing nothing. I'm going to move you over here. I'm going to try to move you at the end of my... No, that ain't going to work. Well, let's see if it does it again with the camera. We'll put it on this... Hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully it'll be all right right there. 